Good morning. We got about 30 minutes of sunrise here, so we're gonna set up DJI and try to get a bit of a time lapse. How'd you sleep? Yeah, pretty good. It got a little warm once the fan died. It got a little warm once the um, Bluetti died and our fan stopped running. Yeah. Just because. We made it close the window the, too because that storm. <laughs> Those um, no CMs were somehow still got in. You could see them all. Yeah, we had this back window cracked a little bit, and that doesn't have a screen, and I think they were getting in through there. Yeah. So we'll see. All right, we'll go set this up. Still gets input from being cloudy. Mm -hmm. There's not much. Arguably the most important part of camping, and that's camp coffee. Our favorite way to brew coffee is with the AeroPress, mostly because it comes in this nice little bag. It's super easy to set up. You can do it when you're car camping, you can do it when you're backpacking, you can do it anywhere. Um, so we're going to show you how we use our AeroPress to make our coffee while we're car camping. We start by boiling some water. When we're car camping, we'll use our kitchen stove and boil water in our tea kettle. If we're out backpacking or somewhere where we don't have access to our whole stove, we'll use our little jet boil and boil some water that way. Alrighty, so we have our camp cups here. These are just little tin cups with the carabiner so that we can clip them to our bags if we're out backpacking. And we also use them when we are car camping. So the AeroPress here. Okay, so the AeroPress comes as two parts. You have this chamber where you'll put your coffee and your water, and then you have your plunger. It also comes with this filter and, I can get them out of here. They're kind of stuck in here, paper filters. But we upgraded ours and we bought, this is by Primo. This is a little like porta filter one and it's got a mesh, mesh screen. So we don't have to use paper filters while we're out camping and we can kind of reduce the waste that we create. So this twists right onto the bottom of our AeroPress, just like the regular filter. So we'll put our coffee grounds in here and then our water and then your plunger. And you'll plunge your coffee out. Okay, it also usually comes with a scooper so that you can measure your coffee. 
I forgot ours at home, so we're just gonna go ahead and wing it. We're using this coffee from Ghost Town Coffee Roasters. They're out of Bozeman, Montana. This is delicious. I'm gonna go ahead and add what I think is about a scoop. Should be good. And then when we're car camping, we love the luxury of adding a little sprinkle of cinnamon to our coffee. comes with a little stir stick. People get super technical when they're making their coffee with the AeroPress. They say you have to have this much and this quarter at this temperature. I don't know. I wing it. It always comes out delicious. I'm just going to let this sit for two minutes and then we'll plunge it into our cup and add our creamers. Beautiful cup of coffee, let's add some creamer. from Laird Superfoods. We add a little bit of that too. Perfect cup of camp coffee. Camp breakfast time.
dinner time. I am starving. We're going to go ahead and get the stove going. It's lit. Okay. <laughs> We're going to get the stove going. We have a little bit of this freeze-dried beef stroganoff that we are going to go ahead and finish off. We're going to boil it in the water for a little bit until it's soft and tender. And then I brought a little bit of sour cream to mix in. It's going to be delicious. A nice hot dinner on a nice hot night. Alright, my water's boiling. I'm absolutely sweating. I'm going to some of this in. Hopefully I didn't do too much water. I think I got a little. 
Alright, we've cooked it all the way down to where everything was 99.9% .9 soft. Some of the big chunks of hamburger are probably going to be a little chewy. Added some sour cream and then um, we had half and half so we added a little half and half. We're going to go ahead and time to eat. Get your opinion since I already ate my bowl. <laughs> I already ate mine too. It's delicious and it hits the spot. I'm sure the dogs would love it too if they could have a bite. It's a nice, warm, cooked meal after a couple of meals of sandwiches. Yeah, that is true. Now if only the sun would peek below these sea oats. I know. And stop absolutely sweltering me. Swelter. <laughs> we were just cleaning up camp a little bit and getting ready so everything's away for bedtime. Did the dishes. And Stu looked out and you can just see the fish jumping in the water. So he's down there right now seeing if he can't can't land something. Right there too. Yeah. All right, we've got camp mostly cleaned up for the night. We're just gonna make ourselves a fun little nighttime drink that Stu's been wanting to make. And we are going to start our fire really quick because you can have fires on the beach here and we're so excited. We've always wanted to do this. Is this wood? Huh? Should I see if we got small pieces? Is it dry? Some of it is. All right, so got the two pineapples. Plan was to make a fun, boozy drink, but we only brought beer. So we're gonna make do and make it a fun, non-alcoholic drink. So I'm gonna cut the put the tops off the pineapples. We've got this, so pretty much core it out, chop the chunks up, add it back with coconut water, Olipop, and I think regular water, and maybe like a liquid IV packet, because. Uh, Gotta rehydrate after all it's wet today. Let's get this top cut off. All right, the top is cut off. And this, you line up the center of the pineapple with that and pretty much just twist. So let's see here. Get everything on camera, it's always harder. Hopefully this will work. All right, I need to answer this. All right, pineapple is carved out, hollowed out, and here's all the parts. I'm going to cut all this up, probably put it in that container for now, and then we'll go from there. All right, got them both hollowed out, cored out, got some crushed up pineapple in both. I'm going to go ahead and add half of this flavor into here.
This did not hold as much liquid as I thought. Yeah. Plenty of room for top offs. And unscrew the coconut water. We'll get some straws. Put a piece of pineapple on there. I'm probably gonna get you a fork to eat the actual chunks of pineapple in there. Oh my god, this is amazing. It's made with love and there's plenty of stuff so you can go top it off. <gasps> okay, thank you. Alright. You're supposed to be able to do it with the GoPro too. Alright. We got some awesome new string lights from Amazon that we've been so excited to try out. These are solar powered string lights. Before we had these battery operated puck lights that we would Velcro to the ceiling. Um, but this is a solar powered string light. It's 20 feet long and then you can add an extension to it so it's a little bit longer. And I think it just looks so cool all draped around the truck like this. This night sky is absolutely unreal. I probably can't tell on here, but we'll insert some photos. Stu's doing some astrophotography. We got the dogs running around with their light up collars. Giuseppe's apparently ready for bed. Hey, you're all sandy, not yet. Not yet, I didn't broom you off. Come on in here, come on. We've got our little pop up. With our little party light. We're gonna get ready for bed.